Let's hop into some DaVinci Resolve workspace solutions. Little tips, little basic things that'll help you navigate uh, and hopefully make your workflow better in DaVinci Resolve. First thing I wanna show you is that in case if you're working on a laptop as I am doing right now, I have a big monitor in front of me, but I wanted for the sake of this, if, if any of you are working out of a coffee shop or you just work on your laptop, even if you are in an office, um, you probably wanna save as much space as you can for viewing things. And so in this case, I wanna be able to view my timeline in the widest aspect I can. And the way that I can accomplish that is by going up here to the little arrow with the box on top of it, clicking that, and it removes that column from the bottom half of uh, the screen. Now, if you wanna get it back, go right back up there and you can press the box with the arrow now in it and you'll get that back. Something else you could do while you're here, uh, when I'm on my 32 inch monitor, since I have more space to view the timeline versus on my laptop, I like to go ahead and click the effects panel to pop up. So then I've got effects and my media just right there on the left and I can drag and drop whatever I need. Now we're gonna look at how do you view two different windows at the same time? Here's what I mean. Say you are looking in your media tab, okay? and you're looking for the next video or portion or clip or whatever that you're wanting to drop into the timeline. Well, it can be annoying when you go over here and it switches to preview mode. Maybe you wanted to still be able to see what's in your timeline so you can kind of visualize what you're doing and bringing a new clip in. Well, the way that you can do that is by going over here to the right and you'll see two little rectangles right there. Click that. Now you have a dedicated preview window on the left and your timeline window on the right. If you wanna go back to a singular, just click that now singular rectangle, and you'll go back to that. Now, why would you go back? Uh, one reason might be you just might wanna be able to see it better. So again, on a laptop, uh, you only have so much space, so now this makes this bigger. Speaking of zooming in and zooming out to uh, see the image that's in your timeline, you can go over here on the left and you'll see a percentile um, and a drop down arrow. So if you want to quickly, you know, zoom in 200%, you can click the 200%. But say you just use your scroll wheel on your uh, mouse and you get yourself to a spot where you're like, like, man, why am I so zoomed in or whatever? I just want this to fit, you know, the panel, the viewing panel. Just click that down arrow and click fit. And it goes right back to fitting the viewing panel. So, or the preview panel, whatever you want to call it here. Tip number three, if you get to a point where everything is just run amok and you don't like how the layout is, you can always just go back to the default of what DaVinci gives you. So go up here to the top where it says workspace, drop down to reset UI layout, boom. So now I'm reset to uh, the column on the left being the media I have two windows, a preview and a timeline window, and everything else also will get reset. So like in your collar tab, sometimes on a laptop, you'll be left with only the primaries panel and the like vector scopes um, panel. And that's great, but you may wanna be able to see the curves separately in this middle column. So in order to do that, you can always go back up to workspace and reset UI layout, and it should give you these three panels instead of the two. I think I've done a short on that here on YouTube, so you can check that out. As we all know, all the platforms are geared toward vertical viewing now. So if you are editing specifically for vertical video, for DaVinci, you can just go down to this gear icon at the bottom right that opens your settings, and it's as simple as clicking use vertical resolution. You don't have to change your resolution. It'll keep whatever you had. If you had 1080p, 720 or 4K like I do here, it'll keep it. It just sets it to vertical now instead of horizontal. Press save and boom. Uh, again, have the preview panel over here and have your timeline panel over there. But now you're seeing it all in vertical so you know what you're getting when you export that and upload it to Instagram Reels, etc. That's all I've got for you this time. I hope that was helpful. 
Let me know of any uh, basic tips that you're looking for or common problems that you're facing in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, and I guess that's whether you're a beginner, intermediate or whatever. Um, everybody works on different things and so they find out different solutions. So maybe I have a solution that you haven't been able to find yet. I'd be happy to help. If there's anything here that I made too complicated and you're like, hey, bro, there's a way easier way to do that, please let me know. We're all doing something different, utilizing these tools for different things and probably have found different solutions to the same problems. So let me know. Thanks for watching. Until next time.